Oh, hey folks, it's Paul. How you doing today? Um, I want to make this video and let you know something about what's going on over there in the conflict over there in Ukraine. And I found out something now. I just listened to about 45 minutes. That's good news for you because you don't have to watch it. And, you know, since I have time to go about it, um, you can just listen to me and I'll just pass on the key details that I think are pertinent. Um, uh, Ukraine now has a very serious problem. The very serious problem are these uh, uh, GLONASS or uh, GLONASS flying bombs. And uh, let me explain to you what they are. Um, I was I was shocked. I did not know that uh, Russia had these. And um, if uh, I were uh, of the Ukraine event, I'd be very concerned about these because, unfortunately for Ukraine, these are not very hard to produce. Evidently, it's not extraordinarily hard to produce these. So I will tell you what this is all about. Uh, these bombs are frightening. They are uh, 1,500 kilos. Folks, a kilo is uh, wait a, a kilo is a thousand um, is, uh, a kilo is I, I forget what it is, but they're huge. The kilo is a, a thousand kilo bomb is huge. And a 1,500 kilo bomb uh, is something like uh, 3,000 pounds. Now, folks, daisy cutters are 10,000 pounds. And when they drop those in Afghanistan and in Iraq, in the mountain areas there where they knew that they couldn't get at them, um, they did terrible, devastating damage. And they shook the whole mountains. They were convinced. Uh, I heard the radio chatter, and they thought that they were being attacked by nuclear weapons. So, uh, these uh, guided bombs are really sinister. They are huge, and they are for knocking out hardened targets, as in, you know, buried bunkers and things like that. I guess that's their version of a bunker buster, but um, what they do is they're not very technologically advanced. They're just basically big bombs that go boom. And um, let me tell you what the game is right now. It's not a game. People are dying, but I'm using this as a euphemistic term. I will tell you what's going on. Uh, you might have known, or at a very suspect by its absence, you have not seen Russian fighter jets or any aircraft other than helicopter, and they don't use them too much because they get shot down by what they call man pads, which are the mobile air uh, protection, I think they're just like little uh, bazooka guns that are very effective at taking down any kind of aircraft under 10,000 feet, I think is what it is. But helicopters are a sitting duck, and uh, we will soon see the day of uh, those being obsolete, I'm sure. I, I just don't know how you protect them, you know, I just don't see it. But, uh, you know, in frontline areas or whatever, so... Uh, Anyways, what they have is uh, Russia, by the way, they can, I think they said that they can generate 100 a month, or is, was it 100 of those bombs a month they can produce? Because they're not terribly technologically demanding. Uh, it's essentially a big bomb, and they put um, these rudimentary wings on the thing which pop out which really isn't much, but when you're at uh, 50,000 feet, which is where they drop these things, um, they, uh, instead of the bomb just dropping straight down, um, these bombs uh, can drift. And like if you've ever seen the parachutists, when they wear those suits, that those glide suits, where they, they look like bats, they have like, their arms are connected to the, the suit with uh, like, you know, like with web. Uh, those things they, they go very far. You can you can fly in those. I mean, it's you're, there's no motor, but you can actually move on an incredible distance with those. So, uh, what's the point? The point is that these things 
are being produced uh, in strong numbers by Russia. And all they have to do is put these up into their uh, SU-35 bombers or whatever they are. There's a lot of different delivery methods. And they do not have to expose the fighter aircraft or the pilot um, uh, to uh, anti-aircraft. So they can drop them 50 kilometers, 45 kilometers away from their targets, and they glide to their targets. And uh, folks, this is uh, very, very worrisome uh, for the Ukrainians. I'm quite sure of that. That is very, very worrisome indeed. So um, that's the latest. Um, a 3,000 pound bomb. Uh, I would think that would be strong enough. Uh, it, it dropped on a hotel or, or some sort of large building uh, to gut the uh, basement areas. I think that's probably what they're using them for. So uh, just to let you know, that's about the size of it as I see it. And uh, stop back and I will uh, bring you updates on the uh, conflict and we'll... Uh, We'll go over this stuff together, okay? Anyways, take care. And uh, that's the latest on those flying bombs. That's the latest that I've heard. So um, very worrisome for Ukraine. Unless they can start shooting down these bombs, um, it's a real problem. Anyways, take care, folks. Bye.